Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Get out of these, got me in the trash. What is up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Just getting back, just got done doing a little fishing. You know, I kind of alluded to it in the last video that I had a big change coming, some big news, and uh, here it is. Finally got the video put together, and y'all have to wait just a couple more minutes to kind of see what, what that big change is. But let me tell you, it is a... Uh, it is a big change for old kayak and Kennedy and Whistling Waters here. We got some got some big things in the works. But like I said, y'all have to wait just a couple more minutes to see that. But I just got back. I got out, did a little speckled trout fishing, did a little sheephead fishing, did a little bit of everything. You know, it's getting to be that time of the year in the fall, winter time. Waters are cooling down, days are shorter, the fish are moving into the river. So I've been spending a lot of my time in the rivers here lately. And that's what y'all will see in this video. But I'm not going to hammer on too long. If you guys are interested in a guided kayak fishing trip, surf fishing trip, boat fishing trip, any kind of fishing trip along the Alabama Gulf Coast, be sure to shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com. And I can get y'all definitely taken care of. Now is a great time of year of the book. Fishing's great. Not a whole lot of people out on the water being winter time, you know, kind of uh, everybody's watching football and uh, going hunting and everything. So there's a lot of a lot of good fishing to be had. So if you guys are interested in a, in a guided fishing trip, make sure you shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com. But like I said, I'm gonna quit hammering on. We're gonna go ahead and jump straight into the video. Y'all stick with it. What is up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another one. <clears throat> I'm sure y'all can notice something a little bit different today. Uh, you know, I kind of teased it in the last video, but we made a big switch. We're here in the, uh, the old new canoe but we will get into depth hit that into into that here in a little bit but as for now you know today we are out here it is uh what are we you know tail end of november here had a little warm up this past week but i figured i'd get out here and see if i can't find me a few trout but just kind of hitting some of these river spots creek mouse all that good stuff got a nice falling tide we're kind of like midway through the tide swing right now uh, got a little later start but it's about 7 30 today and uh you know i think the low tide's around three o'clock Got some storms moving in about noon, so figured I'd get out here for a few hours before that storm gets in, see if I can't, uh, you know, find find a few fish for some supper. Gonna main thing I'm looking for is trout today. Like I said, I'm working these uh, working these creeks for trout, but did bring a bucket of crabs with me. So you know, at the end of the day, I plan on uh, stopping trying to catch a few sheephead. But but for now, I'm just gonna get out, work some of these creek mouths, and uh, see what I can do. All right, let's see what we can find. This starting out with the. Uh, this is the new Slick Junior, kind of that pearl color. Water is a little dingy today. We had some rain a couple days ago, that dirtied the water up a little bit, but it is still, you know, for the most part, it's got some, some cleanness to it. So kind of going that little bit natural, uh, somewhat natural color, you can see there. Got it rigged up on an eighth ounce jig head. We're just jigging the bottom, seeing what we can find. I was out here about a week ago, back when it was still pretty cold with one of my customers and we did pretty good on the specs out here so hoping I can find find some of those but like I said it did warm back up you know the past three or four nights have been you know kind of in the mid 60s so I'm sure the water temperature warmed back up a little bit still pretty cold but it's definitely uh definitely warmer than when we were here last but yeah like you said I'm in the uh in the new canoe now this is the new canoe pursuit got the pivot drive on it been very very pleased with it so far Definitely a lot more maneuverable than my PA ever was. Um, you know, just, it's kind of a real sleek design. <clears throat> Got a real nice sharp bow to it, so it cuts through the water real well. And uh, yeah, it's been, been treating me pretty well so far. I'm gonna do, a, you know, an in-depth video of kind of going over everything, why I like it, what I enjoy about it. So y'all stick to and that'll be my next video. As for now, I'm just getting out showing you a little fishing on it. One thing I do really like about this is the fact that I can go whoosh, stop her on a dime. Having that instant reverse is definitely nice. That is gonna come in handy a lot, especially uh, when we get, you know, fishing some of the docks and stuff in the summertime, once we kind of get out of this wintertime lull. Been, been very pleased with it so far. Had it for a couple weeks now. Had plenty of chances to slime it up. Went hunting in it one day. Didn't get anything, but took it hunting. So, still some things getting used to just as far as the setup and everything. Got to figure out what, exactly how I want to mount everything, where I want everything to sit, but definitely pleased with it so far. Yeah. A 
I've been bamboozled. Damn, that one got me. <laughs> oh, all right, we got our first fish. Little spickler. Oh, and he's off. At least we know there's a couple in, or at least one in here. Well, <clears throat> spank fishing was very, very slow for me. So I'm deciding to uh, go ahead and cut my losses and try for some sheephead. Hopefully, we'll be able to find us a couple. It was a little bit windy, so this is gonna, I'm gonna have my work cut out for me here. But I think I'll be able to find me a couple of a crab. I've had these crabs for quite a while now, going on two or three weeks with these same crabs. Luckily, I had a few because all the shops are out right now, so we'll see if we can get do a little scraping and get some sheep head up. Trying to catch something for dinner. I told Karen I would uh, I would bring us some fish home today, but it hadn't been in the cards so far. So hopefully we'll change it up here. I don't know if that was one or if that was the bottom. that one on that pile and nobody else came so we decided to move pilots. There we go. There. Oh that's a good one. That's a good one. Get out of these got me in the trash. Gosh this is a good one. Oh this is a good one. Oh my gosh this is a good one. Real nice one. Got him in the net. Whew. I did not think I was going to get that one out. Had me all up in that junk. Whew, there we go, though. That's a healthy one there. That's what we're looking for. Took me a little while to get my second fish of the morning, but that'll do it. And this one, unfortunately for this guy, will go in the cooler. All right, on the board with a sheepy. Very nice sheepy too. He almost had me in the trash too. I barely got him out of there. I could feel him rubbing on all sorts of stuff down there. So I got, I got lucky. He almost got the best of me. But we are on the board with a sheepy. Got one in the cooler too. We'll drop down, see if you had any buddies with him. Hit a few more pylons. I'm uh, getting short on time now. We got a big storm moving in today. I think the first bands are supposed to be here in the next couple of hours. So I'm starting thinking about heading back in for too, too long. This one's not as big. Oh, he didn't like me saying that. <laughs> oh no! Broke me off. Dang. Dang it. Well, <clears throat> that was a heartbreaker. I was going to put it in the net. Line broke. I think I had a scuffle in there from that last fish. 
Because he wasn't Mondo. He definitely had some pull to him, but he wasn't a jumbo. He shouldn't have, shouldn't have cleaned me off like that. I'm re-hooked now. Trying a little bit different hook than normal. There it is. Oh, big one. Big one. Big one. Big one. Get out of there. Get out. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, yes. Get out of that net. Oh, Got him. Whew. Whew. Did not think I was getting him up. Golly. He's a good one for sure, but I can tell you, he was fighting like a whole different fish. Another nice one. Another real nice sheepy. Whew, gotta love that. Alrighty, well that is gonna do it for today's video. Like I said, I had a, had a big change. Definitely, a, I'm a new canoe guy, so definitely a big, big change. But I am very, very happy so far with this kayak. I've got the New Canoe Pursuit that is 13 and a half feet long. It's been very, very good to me. It's very maneuverable, turns on a dime. You know, having that, that pedal system on the back, kind of like an outboard engine or anything, you don't really have to get that momentum to go get going before you start turning. You know, as soon as you start pedaling, you turn, and then the instant reverse is definitely nice. And on fact, on top of that, you know, it's still it kind of kicks up in the back and everything, so I can still get that that thing pretty shallow, about as shallow as I could with the Hobie drive. So, it's all, all in all, it's gonna be be uh, be a good switch up for me. But I'm gonna do another video just strictly on the kayak. That'll be coming up probably within the next week or so. Just kind of a review of everything on the kayak, not necessarily on the water or anything, but just me kind of sitting down, saying you know, getting really getting into details. So Y'all be sure to stay tuned for that. But yeah, I mean, that uh, turned out to be, you know, the, the, the fishing wasn't exactly what I expected. Didn't catch quite as many trout as I was hoping for. Uh, but the sheep had made up for it and uh, and yeah, it was uh, it was fun It was nice getting out enjoying the day on the water on a new boat and everything and just just having a good day But like I mentioned earlier if you guys are interested in a guided kayak fishing trip surf fishing trip uh, Boat fishing trip any kind of fishing trip here along the Alabama Gulf Coast Be sure to shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com uh, but that, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you shoot me that thumbs up. Every little bit of that helps. So, you know, if you want to share this video with your friends and everything, that'll help too. Uh, but yeah, that's a, like I said, I appreciate all the support. Appreciate all the likes, everything, all the subscribers, every one of y'all. Uh, but I'm going to quit hammering on and I'm going to go ahead and get this video edited and set up for y'all. So uh, yeah, like I said, appreciate you guys tuning in and I will see you in the next one.